years, Aston Martin has been, um, I've been with these new products since that point, since the very start of DB9 when it was an idea and it was on a sheet of paper and it's a sketch from, from Ian Callum. What's very great for me to see is, this is quite a unique event that you're going to go through today. In my whole 15 years, I've never seen all the cars together on a press event, back to back tested by one group of people on the same stretch of road, which I think is a great opportunity for, for feedback for myself, Julian and Matt, but also for you guys as well. So I'm very interested in your thoughts, the character differences that you perceive, um, and that would that, be very interesting for me. So what's my role? My role as Chief Program Engineer for these projects. So I look after the Vantage and Rapid S car lines now, uh, but I was responsible for basically the Vanquish, the Rapid, the uh, GT program that you see here, the V12 Vantage S Coupe, and the last one I did last year, which seems a long time ago now for me, is uh, the uh, V12 Vantage S Roadster that you'll drive today. And it's great to drive on the roads that you're going to drive. I'm quite jealous, and hopefully I'll get to do that later today as well. But part of that role is seeing it from an idea, a sketch with the engineer, coming up uh, with the designer as to how we can get this car feasible, working with the product marketing team in terms of what the customer really needs and wants, um, listening to what you guys say in the press about our cars as well, which is very important feedback for us. And then taking that and creating the tangible engineering behind it. How does it feel? How does it test? How fast can it go? What's its 0 to 60? How dynamically what it's like? And what um, the great part of coming on events like this for me is seeing the end product of that and seeing you guys drive it seeing customers getting feedback from Julian, particularly as voice of market for me in the Americas, um, how these cars perform. So it's come full circle and it's great. And it's not very often engineers come to do these kind of events uh, in Aston Martin, well, but it's a great thing. We're going to do a lot more of it. I personally drive a DB9 Volante as my day-to-day -day car in the UK. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got three young children. I use it every day with them. My eight-year-old son uh, specified the car. It's a carbon black edition. Um, very proud of that, actually. I get a smile and a buzz out of it every single day. Weather's like this, top down all the time. In the UK at the minute, if it rains, just drive a little bit faster. Try and not stop at traffic lights uh, where you can, but uh, it's, it's great. Um, what I'm going to try and go through today then with you guys is go through each of the cars, what the technical updates are, what these cars mean, because you might not have come across them before, where they sit in the range. So that first car that I'm going to talk to you about is V8 Vantage um, GT. It's our entry point into the Aston Martin brand for us. It's bringing our products closer together to people who might have had a perception, you know, a $99,000 ticket entry price for this vehicle where they might have thought it was out of reach and you know working with Julian and the team and understanding what the requirements of this market was the US needed this kind of car. The V8 Vantage is our most sex successful Aston Martin ever surpassing DB9, surpassing DB7 that we've done in the past so it's our, it's our most popular car. Some of you might be uh, familiar with it the look of this car hasn't changed much we've done basically a, an evolution on this car there's a lot of sportiness that we've added into this vehicle. Everything on this car has evolved or changed. and We've done that from the voice of market and understanding what the customer actually needs. This particular car isn't just about being an entry level car, it's also being a bit more focused and driving through the derivatives in terms of the options to the customer to say, this is more focused, it's a more dynamic, we've given it more power. So all of our cars are naturally aspirated. This particular car's got a V8 4.7 litre engine with 430 brake horsepower. Um, like I said, it's $99,000, which is great. It's inspired by our race series, the GT4. Uh, you can see some of that in the graphics as well. And obviously the, the GT name. It's available with a manual six-speed. The two cars that we've got here today for you have both got manual six-speed transmissions. Transmissions at the back within the wheelbase the engine rearwards of the front wheel axis as well so the basically the core mass of the car is around the driver and in between the wheelbase it's got very short over overhangs it's a very compact sports car it's got a more sports orientated chassis so it's got the uh, three-stage adaptive damping uh, on this 
and we've improved the uh, balance characteristics on this particular car to give a bit more enjoyment. All, all of our Aston's uh, sports cars, they're all about enjoyment of drive, um, but we wanted to hone this car a little bit more. So that's V8 Vantage GT. Thank <laughs> you.